Hi everyone, and welcome back to the Burnt Brass Homestead channel. This is a continuation of the chicken butchering series. While most of the chickens were frozen whole in shrink bags, this is a video of how I butcher a chicken in preparation for cooking, storage, or canning. I am not a butcher, and I am not a professional. There are more efficient ways to butcher a chicken than what I show you here. But we all got to start somewhere. And I hope this encourages someone to start butchering their own chicken. Even if you do not raise your own meat birds, it is cheaper to purchase a whole chicken than those that are pre-cut. And you can use the carcass to make stock, which I will show you in the next video. As you can see, every cut of chicken costs more than the whole chicken itself per pound. You can see for yourself how much money you would save if you purchased a few whole chickens, then butcher them yourself. This is especially true if you are a large family. It takes less than two minutes to butcher a whole chicken once you get the hang of it. The most important thing to remember about butchering a chicken is to follow the fat line, which normally leads you to where you need to cut or position your knife to avoid the bone. In this video, you will see where I repositioned my knife a few times so that, I, uh, so that I was cutting through skin, flesh, and cartilage instead of bone. I start by cutting the skin to expose the flesh. Then I place my knife in the crevice of the leg and begin to follow the joints. By all means, bend the leg back to make the joint pop. This helps provide a guideline on where to place your knife and where to cut. Continue to bend the leg back as needed to guide your knife around the bone and through the cartilage. To separate the leg from the thigh, cut along the fat line on the side of the drumstick. Your knife should go right through. Next, I remove the wing. Again, bend or position the wing to get a better idea of where to position your knife. I continue bending until I have cut through the wing my goal being not to place the blade of my knife on the bone. After removing the wing, I tuck the tip behind it for pure aesthetics. Next, I remove the breast. For some reason, I like to start my cut in the middle of the breast, but against the breast plate. I ride the knife along the breast plate. I first make a shallow cut the length of the breast then I go back to make the final deeper cut. I am trying to ride the breastplate as much as possible to get all the meat. The breast is probably the easiest part of the chicken to remove. The average weight of the chickens was 4.78 pounds after they were defeathered and gutted. So the size of the legs and breasts of these homegrown chickens were pretty satisfying. So this is the way I butcher my chickens. However, click on the link in the description for a really, really good tutorial on how to butcher chickens as demonstrated by a professional.